Hey everybody, Jason here. Welcome to my knot channel. So in this video, we're gonna have a look at one of the most important techniques when working with rope, and that's how to coil rope. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so how to coil rope. Now, most modern rope has a uh, a core to it and then a braided sheath and because of that uh, you need to follow a certain pattern when coiling it or else you'll get it tangled up or knotted up and what I'm going to show you is a way that uh, when you follow this system when you go to use your rope you can literally just drop it you know un untie what I'll show you is the tie off and then drop it on the ground and then start using it and you know, 99.9% .9 of the time, you won't get any type of twist or tangle on it as you're going. Um, and even when you do, you usually just have to give it a little little shake and it'll correct itself. Um, so basically, uh, a lot of people are familiar with the system where you would hold on to the rope and you'd go around and around your arm like that, right? To create a circle. Uh, so. That's a good starting point, but if you do that with a braided rope, uh, what's gonna happen is you can't drop it and just use it, and also when you start to use it, you'll get like twists in it, and that becomes problematic. So what you need to do is just have a big tail end that hangs down to about your elbow to start, okay? And then what you're gonna do is go behind your elbow and then up. So I'm gonna do a figure eight pattern like this. Now the reason why I left that tail end hanging down is because if I had this up here when I finish it's gonna be just hanging and it might pop out and flop around but to let it hang down it'll end up being in your wraps and just be nice and tidy when everything's done. So like I said I just dropped this rope right I had it coiled and I just dropped it and you can see how as I'm going it's all nice and workable. Okay so I'm now near my end so what I'm gonna do is just back off a little I'm gonna drop my elbow out I'm gonna wrap around right I can't tell you how many times around but you wrap around until you have enough working end to pass through your top loop and then back over top of itself just like that and then pull on your working end and you have this nice tidy coil of rope so then when it's time to go use your rope you just pop that up and over pull your tail end untwist your first few wraps and like I said then you can just drop it and you can work with your rope and it's just gonna work fine, all right? So the next I'm gonna show you is with a thinner, smaller cordage, like paracord that I have here. So same thing, right? I'm just pulling the top loop, take off my first wraps and then I'm just gonna drop it and now I can work, all right? Paracord is thinner, you don't need to go around your elbow. You can if you want, but the easiest way is to just use your hand. So this is what I do with the paracord I use for my, my bare food hang. Um, it's probably uh, like 30 feet long, um, maybe a bit longer. And basically it's just through your thumb, through your little finger, and then back around. And then you do that same figure eight pattern And you can see I dropped the rope and I haven't had a snag yet, right? It just stays untangled, untwisted. And then as I'm starting to get close to my end, I'm just going to pull my little finger out, keep my thumb in, right? Then I just hold on to it and I'll wrap. I'll push through a bite through the top loop and pull it over there you go so same system ones for smaller 
right? This is easy, can just uh, do my length of paracord and then it's a nice small compact size. I can pack that away, you know, I could even just stick it in my pocket if I wanted to. And then also the, I guess the elbow, hand to elbow method or however you want to call it for a thicker, longer rope. All right, so that's it. Okay, so there you have it, how to coil rope. Now, if you're new to knots and knot tying, or you just want to check it out, then I highly recommend you have a look at my video, Eight Knots Everyone Should Know. Here's a link, okay? Now, if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, okay? Thanks for watching.